Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Satisfactory. So today we are over by our little sulfur processing plant. Um, I have come over here to lay down a ton of foundation because I have, I have some plans for what I want to do with this area. Because we've got three limestone nodes. I've already laid down some uh, miners on them. Uh, on these two at the very least, that one is still waiting for me to slap a miner down on it. But I want to build a dedicated concrete plant here. And I'm also thinking of expanding the rest of the production here to include... I mean, to potentially include uh, producing nobelisks and possibly, like, cartridges, so we can have some ammunition production here as well. So I've been laying down some... well, I've been putting down some... Uh, machines to kind of work out what I want out of all this but because a lot of the stuff that we're gonna need to build here is going to include uh, stuff that needs to be built through manufacturers um, well, I haven't even got enough cable to be able to build them um, we're gonna be waiting around for a while mostly just because we need heavy modular frames for those and well we don't need many they're, they're a bitch to make and we haven't got any production for them at the moment. So, they're gonna, they're gonna wait for now. I thought we'd focus on some more of the um, setting up of dedicated outposts for different productions first. Some of the lower tier stuff, so we'll get this set up with concrete. We might head over to do all of the, the screws and then the rods, which were in that direction. I think that's where I was gonna put them. Was it over there? I think it was over there. Yeah, it was that one on the way over to Royal One, wasn't it? That's quite out of the way compared to everything else that we've got going on at the moment. But it'll do for now. I've also been doing a bit more on the um, iron plate production. Uh, that has now got a station attached to it that is fully loaded with stuff. Uh, if we head back over towards the hub at some point today, I will no doubt show it off. But... For now, we've got to set things up here, so all of this stuff can go away. Uh, with the production that we've currently got here, or the production we'll currently be able to do, uh, with the three nodes and the miners that we have access to, we're only going to be able to put down, like, 20 machines, 20 constructors, which isn't a massive amount, but for now, it will do. Uh, when Mark III miners come in, I'm sure we'll be able to bump that up a fair bit, but, you know, it's still going to be 300 concrete a minute. And that ain't bad, I don't think. Um, but I'm also thinking, because this area is fairly sunken into the floor, I might just build a, a roof completely covering this entire basin once we've got all the constructors in place, and it can be like kind of an underground concrete bunker. So that could be quite fun. So let's get ourselves some constructors. I might actually need to head back to the hub already because I don't actually have much cable with me. So let's jump in the buggy and bugger off back to the hub. I'll show off this iron, iron build now. So I'll leave the car there for the moment. I'll go and grab some cable. Up we go. More of this cable that we can get rid of as well, the better, because... I want all of the production here gone. How much have we got left in all these machines? Are they starting to run down yet? They're still producing, so I think it might be a while before we end up uh, emptying this place out. Although these belts are now all empty, so I might dismantle this bit for, the, for a moment while I'm here. Because I do still have those copper nodes that I want to go and uh, set things up next to so that we can start a, a proper cable facility over there as well. Lots more stuff to build. Oh, it's going to be good. Right, that's cleared out most of this. So how much have you all got left? That's a lot of wire. Although I think the ones up this end will clear out first because they get more of a priority going into the uh, mergers. Yeah, so you're now just emptying out, which is fine. Okay, that's good. Moving on. So this is Iron Plate 1, for want of better titles. 
the other uh, iron nodes up that way have been connected. We've got a belt feeding into the other miners here. I'm now pretty much out of power shards, but I've started building walls and everything around it just to get it looking nice. Still got some work to do, but it's getting there. And up here, you can see we've got like the kind of open topped chimney sort of thing for the smelters, which I really am liking. I just. I like making this stuff look good, and I'm really chuffed with it. I think it looks fantastic. But there's still more work that needs to be done on the rest of this. I've still got to put in walls around the top floor of constructors, as well as putting a bit more of a stylized roof, as opposed to a big old flat one. But it's all looking fantastic, and all of the uh, production is outputting down here and feeding into some train stations or a train station, you know, freight platforms so one floor is feeding into uh, one of the freight platforms and the top floor is feeding into the other and I started trying to standardize the rails so this is going to be like our main rail line and we've kind of uh, branch things off here so they can go into the station. Uh, we do have these signals here, which is quite, you know, now that we've actually got this stuff here, it's going to be interesting to see how these things work. But I have heard that the trains are kind of buggy. Um, not the good kind of buggy like the Explorer, but the, bu the weird kind of buggy where um, there are issues with them, like the, the freight wagons apparently will just take off on their own and the train will just... The locomotive will just stay in the station if there are multiple trains on the tracks, which is a bit weird. Uh, I haven't thought about where the, you know, another line might head back in the opposite direction at the moment. It's just going to be coming through here. But for the time being, it will do. I quite like the way it's starting to shape up. And as we, I could probably get rid of this train to be honest. Um, but as we go about getting more of these outposts set up will start um, you know connecting things up and seeing how things run for now let's drive back over to um, whatever this outpost is going to end up being called and just start working on some production oh boy oh god oh dear oh dear oh dear <laughs> Well, at least you're self-writing. That's good. Uh, I got a bit overzealous with my buggy. No, let me park you up here. Just keep you out of the way. God. I am a dreadful driver. Don't ever trust me on the roads. Right. Now that's 20 constructors. Two columns of 10. And I'm trying to figure out how to sort out the inputs for all of this because we've got three miners but we need four that are going to be outputting 900 per minute altogether once fully overclocked and I'm trying to think what's going to be the best way of feeding everything what I might do would be have each of these miners over here feeding in to one of these columns and then the node that's over this side, I'm going to split so that it can merge onto the two columns and they'll get 450 each. It's probably going to be the easiest and simplest way of doing this. There's, you know, it's going to be the most simple way of belt balancing things. Uh, it's going to be once we get to setting up or you know splitting out to all of the machines because they need 45 per minute. So. Working this out with belt speeds is going to be a bit awkward. I'd like to try and do this as um, efficiently as possible. No, I don't want to be making biomass. I, ch I tore up all the biomass that's here. We needn't worry about that. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to sort out these belts. To get everything perfectly balanced without doing some sort of weird elaborate belt balancing thing. 
I may just have to feed them in and let the machines just take their pick of whatever. To be honest. Maybe just run a belt directly down the middle of each line and split it off onto Mark 1 belts. Means that these ones at the front are going to fill up first. And then the rest of the system will just have to kind of play catch up. Play catch up. I mean, everything will end up running at some point. And, you know, eventually. It's just that the whole system isn't going to be perfectly balanced. Like, we've managed to work with some of the smelters. Stuff that runs on uh, some easier numbers. So I've got all of the outputs sorted. Now I've got to think about my inputs. I am thinking that just a single kind of bus line underground is going to be the easier of the options. It's going to be less desirable. I'd like to try and get it as perfectly balanced as possible, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just going to set up conveyor lifts like this, and we'll just bring a line straight, straight down the center. Just right down like that. Then we'll just split off and go from there. Because, yeah, balancing this is going to be an absolute bitch. And I don't have the time or the energy for that. So I think what I'll do with merging these belts... I'm going to stick a merger about here. We'll get that. Where, where do I want the... Uh, belts coming in, actually. Something like that. And we can stick the mergers as dead center as we can along this. And then when it comes down to bringing uh, a belt down from that miner, we can just kind of link it in in one of the other inputs. So, let's get the other one of these in place. I need more iron plates. I need something else now. How unusual. This is peculiar. I never run out of resources. I never run out of materials for building things. I'm always so prepared. That was a total fucking light, and I'm not apologizing for it. I think we'll run the second line underneath this first one, just until it gets past all of the production, then we'll, we'll raise it up so it comes up like so. Uh, let me put a stacker in there, or I'll stick it in the middle there. That'll do nicely. Excuse me? Oh, no, I forgot. I picked up some limestone from the big chunks and I just chucked them in the miners. <laughs> that confused me for a minute. <laughs> Excuse me? When did you get power? Wait a minute. I'm hearing one of the, uh, like, weird alien artifact things. Where is it? a cave nearby. It must be, because I can't see anywhere it could be. And I'm hearing the hum from down here. I haven't built over it, have I? No. I would have known. Curious. Okay, fuck this build project. I want to find this cave. Is it around here anywhere? Oh, uh, oh. I think it is. Ooh. I do not like the goop. Oh. Oh no, it's not goop. It's those weird mushrooms. Right. I think my health is a bit better today, so hopefully spiders aren't going to, like, insta-kill me. And there's gas. I 
Oh, it's around here somewhere. I see it. It's a Mercer Sphere. Let me go grab that. Yoink. Maybe that'll give me a bit of peace and quiet now, but now I'm kind of curious to see what else is in this cave. Mostly rocks. No spiders. I do not know where this leads, though. Kind of creepy in here. Well, this looks like a way out. It is. Huh. Okay. That is a really secret little cave. I never would have noticed that before. I think there was a tunnel going out the other way as well, so I want to see what that's about. What is down there? I have a feeling because I've been building around here, all the spiders are gone. It tends to be a kind of side effect of you, your, your building stuff is the wildlife just disappears. Complete opposite of Factorio, where the wildlife just comes back with a vengeance. Uh, oh, okay. Gas mask time. Ugh. Ooh, hello, slug. Lots of slugs around here. Damn. Found myself a slug nest. I mean, even if they're only green slugs, that's still good. I need power shards. Right, you look like you might be a bit tricky to get. No, no, not particularly. Okay, now. What was that, like half a dozen of them in there? No complaints from me. Okay, I'll do there. Right. Oh, frame rate. Frame rate! Don't make me drop down. Thank you, jetpack, for saving my legs. Oh, I missed my landing. God, why am I finding this so difficult? <laughs> Come here, I just want the slug. Right, is that all of them? Six power slugs? Cool. Right, is there another way out of here? I don't think so. I think it's a one way in, one way out job. Hmm. Okay, well, this has been fun. Stick the gas mask back on and head back out. Right, now, where was it I came in? Because I, I can't find the right exit now. Is it this way? Yeah, there it is. Ugh. Get myself all turned around. Oh, yeah, that's because it was a big fucking hole in the ground, wasn't it? Right. There we go. Nice. Well, I needed power shards for uh, this new build, so that is some good stuff. All right, let's get some more belts plugged up. Oh, for God's sake, I can't afford these now. Alright, fine, I'll go back to the hub. I'll go and get some more stuff. Oh, I just found some more uh, heavy modular frames. No complaints from me there. Ooh. Right, which container was it with the... There we are. Heavy encased industrial beams. Um. Oh, yeah, I should drop that Mercer Sphere over by the, uh, the hub as well. 
Right, that container is now empty. It can go. Gets it out of the way. And that is good for me. I'll get my last miner in place. So I'll plunk you down in there. And I think that works pretty well. So I'm probably just going to drop conveyor stacker there. We can just feed you directly down this way. And we're set up. Great stuff. So all we really need to do now is power everything and bring in some... Uh, We'll set up a station for everything. I was trying to figure out what I was trying to say there. It's always a bit difficult. Alright. There's power on everything. That miner is now up and running. Let's get the other two set up and... Maybe set up some storage containers, just for the time being. I don't know if they're going to be necessary. Uh, I don't think these bits need to be covered either. I'll probably draw some of this back a bit. Oh yeah, I haven't finished connecting up your belts, have I? I'm just connect things like that for the moment. But until these machines are all overclocked, the production is going to be... A little underwhelming. Because we are setting things up for three fully overclocked miners. And at the moment we're not getting the, that level of production. We're only just getting about the production of one overclocked miner. But now that I've got some power slugs, I could go and refine these down into some shards and we can start getting that sort of stuff. Well, certainly off some of the mi some of the miners. We'll, we could over fully overclock two of them, and I think we'll go with the two that are providing the the bulk of the production. So that looks a bit better. The other miner will be providing an additional sixty to the columns. So three hundred and sixty at the moment. We'll eventually overclock the other machine up to 250% uh, and then we'll get all of these machines running non-stop. At least when they've got you know, the capacity to output. But I've got one last thing I want to get done today and that is going to be putting a big old roof on this fucking thing. So... I was going to say I need to go somewhere to get some concrete. I don't need to go somewhere to get some concrete. I've got plenty of it here. Uh, but I will set up a storage container. Uh, just there. Yeah. I will set up a uh, merging of both output belts. Ooh, that is going to be a bit snug. Let's move you forward a bit. I mean, I don't mind snug. Snug is pretty good. But I want to be able to make sure I can get this belt in. Oh, look at that thing fill up. Oh, it's glorious. Right. Let's bury this bitch. Um, yeah, sorry. What's that, officer? Secret underground concrete production facility? I've, I've no idea what you're talking about. It's just... It's just flat ground. There's nothing here. Is there? Nobody tell him. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, I, I quite like this. I think it looks really neat. It does look a bit daft with the, the tops and the miners sticking out the ground. But you, you can only do so much. Uh, I will overclock this one a little bit just to help the production out a bit more. So we get it up to 180 per minute, so that's an extra 90. As opposed to 60. That'll help the production go a bit quicker. 
I had also noticed the uh, the change in the lights when you overclock a machine. The the lights go blue on them to indicate that they're overclocked, which I think is pretty cool. Let's you know what's uh, what's running faster than usual. Um, although for me, it's pretty much just miners and oil pumps. You know the the things that are bringing the raw resources out of the ground because you can always just build more of everything else. You're limited on the number of nodes that you have, so overclocking think the miners and the oil pumps is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned. But we have got a new production center for concrete, which I am really liking. Uh, why are you not working? I did not give you a recipe. I think that was the only one I missed. Yeah, everything else is just blinking at me when it's not got enough resources, but we'll get to that in due time. For now, I think this little facility is looking rather good. It's obviously a lot more work to do on it. Uh, when we get round to building a uh, train station, I'm probably going to be putting train stations for all the outputs up here, I think. We'll just have this as kind of like a very open sort of space. Uh, we'll probably leave... Uh, I might even try and set up some sort of little uh, kind of... You know when you see like those kind of like desert bunker um, openings for like, you know, underground, underground bunkers, essentially? Uh, I might try and build something like that and then have some stairs that go down so that we can have access to the, un the, the kind of underground section of everything. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's dumb and I like it, so this is sticking around. I'm quite happy with this. But I will leave things off here, uh, the next episode. I'm going to see about what I might do next episode, is we might head over and start the screw, screw facility. Again, we're not going to be able to overclock things. We'll have to go on another slug hunt sometime soon. Um, but I do want to get these um, little outposts all set up and ready for expansion once the ability to overclock everything is there. So... We'll keep that in mind, and we'll build up everything as best we can. But, yeah, that will that will all happen as and when we get to it. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, and just say thank you all so much for watching, and we shall watch this glorious sunrise. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Are we the prey, no, we are the hunters. Jeeps, we'll have those for now. Tough going. Don't... Oh, don't blow up the grenades, I wanted you to fucking grab them. Oh, Jesus!